They might start making little mouth movements. But when they're awake, they're gonna start to lick their lips. They're gonna suck on their thumb or their fingers or just put their whole fist to their mouth. They'll start to get more agitated. So I teach the asymmetrical latch where you line up the baby's nose to the mom's nipple and the baby comes from down below. So more of the bottom part of the breast is in their mouth. Writing down when you start breastfeeding. So you're gonna um, count how long baby nurses on each side and how often, obviously. Um, after the first day, anywhere from eight to 12 times in a 24 hour period is normal. At each given session of breastfeeding, a baby can nurse anywhere from 10 minutes on a side to even a half an hour on a side. A good average is about 15 to 20 minutes per side. Avoiding pacifiers and any artificial nipples, such as a nipple shield or a bottle nipple is really important in the first few weeks when you're establishing your milk supply. Breastfed babies should be fed exclusively breast milk for the first six months of life. After that, physiologically, their bodies do need more, you know, starting solids such as cereal and whatnot. The best way to prevent sore nipples is um, to have a correct latch, a nice deep latch. Using your own colostrum, the first milk, and as your milk matures into the regular milk, a few times a day. There's antimicrobial properties in your breast milk that help with healing. Preventing engorgement, um, to, to prevent or minimize it, um, breastfeeding regularly, you know, every two to three hours. Waking baby. It, a good practice is to check their diaper. Checking their diaper, generally babies don't like their bottoms exposed. So checking, changing the diaper, taking their shirt off, their blankets off, all that. Um, doing skin to skin contact. Kind of tickling and poking at them, that skin to skin contact, the exposure to the air alone can help keep baby awake. But you can kind of tickle and poke and rub. Doing things to soothe the baby, you know, which comes naturally is something you want to try to minimize. Once you take baby home, it's very important to take care of yourself. So first and foremost, resting when baby rests. That is wonderful advice that a lot of new mothers don't take at first, but um, it is vital. Here at St. Mary's, we promote rooming in. So pretty much 24 seven, having baby in the room with you. To, to get that comfort level of taking care of your baby on your own because of course once you go home we're not going to be there with you. The support that St. Mary's Janesville offers after you go home with your baby. We call every mom baby after they go home within a few days to check on how things are going. So once you go home there is continued support.